this is the first episode of the second episode, if that makes any sense. <laughs> this is the first episode of the second episode of the third episode of the fifth episode. Uh... <laughs> YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and today I'm adventuring alone into the exciting world of Game of Thrones, the Telltale series game. And we are starting up episode number two, uh, Lo The Lost Lords. Yeah. And the lord they're referring to is Lord Asher, the exiled son of the Foresters, the family that I'm playing. And here you're going to see what previously happened and all of the poor mistakes that I made in the game last time. Um, this is the second session that I'm recording this, and I, I learned two valuable things since the first session. Or three. The first being that I really didn't know anything about Telltale games, and I sincerely apologize about my lack of skill. The second being that Game of Thrones, I accept that it's, it's an unusually harsh universe. You know, I think I might have said it to some degree that George R. R. Martin wrote Game of Thrones to be, like, an anti-drug. Like, he wanted to break cliches. He didn't want to uphold the, as long as I am true and right and have the greatest of honor, I will prevail in the end and save the princess. He wanted to kill that man, and he did that in the form of Ned Stark. And that should have been very obvious, but I'm still going to go and make all the right decisions because I feel like it's, you know, the Dark Knight put a vest in saying, you either die a hero or you live long enough long enough to see yourself become the villain and there's Ethan dying hero <laughs> trying to be true to his people but I don't feel bad about it you know as long as you're doing everything that's right even if you die you tried your best and the third thing I learned was uh, I really should have put the uh, subtitles on because not only would that help me pick up a little more detail while I'm talking but I'm sure that you guys would love to hear what people are saying in the conversations that are going on instead of just listening to me babble the whole time. So, there you go. Oh, hey, we're in this, uh, the giant slave city. I wonder if this is before Daenerys got there. We're taking a whiz, and we're about to get stung right on the penis. Ooh, this is, okay, this is Asher, young Kai, three days after liberation. Oh, okay, so this is after Daenerys has gotten there. And right before shit goes to hell with all the harpies and all that crap. Whoa. Whoa. What a name. She kind of looks like this Fallout character I just made. <laughs> Except without blonde hair. Okay. Oh, I'm in the game. I'm playing the feud. Oh, I'm also, I'm a little sick today. I've been sleeping with my girlfriend's and her heat is all broken. Look at the picture. What's in that picture, Asher? And uh, her heat's broken, so I woke up and I was like, oh no, I, I'm just not going to feel good today. Why am I going over here to look at the window? <laughs> Is that because we killed him? I can look at the spill, but I can't clean up the spill because I'm a dirty boy. I don't clean up after myself. Taste it and find out. Can I? Oh, wait. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, wait, I can. Taste it. Yeah. It's blood. Oh, fuck. <laughs> blood does have a very irony taste to it. Like, I want, I don't, I wanted to say something about, like, of course you'd know what blood would taste like, but, I mean, you know, everybody should know what blood tastes like just from, like, dental, you know, shit when you go to your doctor and messing with your teeth and your gums bleed and he's like you know you should really floss more but you know you get that little taste of blood and you know what it tastes like and it, of course it tastes like iron because it's got iron in it you know it's got all these little other uh small elements in it let me look at her let me give you a good look right in your face 
Come on, Asha, quit staring. Let's get through. Oh, she's a cell sword. Am I Alice Mormont? Like this is that what this story is? Ale goes in yellow. <laughs> oh Jesus. Alright, they keep saying this was abandoned, but like really like I feel like or maybe it's abandoned because of the liberation that would make sense oh he's not a bastard is he I know I do I'll drink to that oh so I had um if you're just sort of into the series now, or if it's been a while since I've put out the other episodes, uh, so, like, with the other characters, I was really trying to find, like, guidelines to make their decisions. And, like, good guidelines at that. There's Gerard, who is, like, all about honor and trying to be like Jon Snow. Ethan, who kind of, you know, mad of... Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? So we did kill a guy! So this was us! Oh, no. Okay. What the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Are we bad? I don't know yet. Am I redeemable? How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. Yeah. I would just like to know that out of curiosity. There's whack or so something or other. Yeah, that's racist. <laughs> so Ethan was all about duty and um, trying to be the anti-Joffrey, which is more like a Tyrion, although like Tyrion didn't always fit. And then Mira, who is all about honesty and being like Daenerys, you know, being very like curt and being like very to the point, like I will not have this, like do not design, do not talk about my family that way. We are proud people. Do not treat me like a a handmaiden, even though she was a handmaiden. This guy, I don't know. He seems like he's just gonna be evil through and through, considering he has a man tied up. So, not quite sure where to go with him yet. I compared him to Jorah, but you know, Jorah's nothing like this. He's a lot like nicer of a guy. He's a real nice guy. You really like him. I'm sure that you would you'd get along. She also looks like a Skyrim character. She's just tossing that out. But so do a lot of Game of Thrones people. So I don't know why I tried to make the distinction there. Just her in particular, but like the way her swords are curved and those. Westeros and its bloody houses. Oh. Still my family. This guy, I might just try to steer his decisions in a direction I know they have to go, because that's another thing I realized. Like, I kind of not cheated, but I looked ahead at the t just what the titles of the next episodes were, and of course this one's called the Lost Lords because like, he's the Lost Lord, he's the exiled son who. Let's make a toast to all of us deadly bastards. To family. Oh, you can be my family. Oh! Fuck. Try it again. Ha ha! <laughs> she will remember that. <laughs> like, what would that matter? The quick time events in this game are so random sometimes, and I love it. Quick time! Quick! Click the glasses! Yeah, you guys have a guy tied up in the corner. Shouldn't you be more worried? From the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again. <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny? Brings all friends together. Uh. Cut your fucking God, there's that weird inflection again. Like, I was thinking he would say it all funny. Like, oh, good to see you, Tazal. Ha ha ha. Like, let me pay my debt. Oh. Wait, so he's looking to hire me? And that's all you get. The bounty is mm, that's just bargaining right there. It's more than you deserve. Oh, and now they're gonna discover the man that we're hiding. Are they are they are, do you care? Oh come on. Yeah. We're all cell sword here. We are nothing like Man, I like I remember like them talking about these guys in the games. I don't know if this is these are the cell swords that the guy with Daenerys I think are from, but And we're done with you too. Calm down, Cizal. We can still work out a deal. 
you two are going to be useful to me. Oh, we're getting on a fight. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped. Oh. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold. Selling us out. So he killed the Zak instead. Me. Luckily. Bullshit. Everybody's a fucking liar in this game. Why is it? They really want you to be the truthful, like, honorful person that George R. R. Martin hates. Flip table. If I can do anything, I can do quick time events. So I think I'd rather do that shit than make decisions. I'd rather just beat the fuck out of you. Which is how I play a lot of other video games. It's just like, attack, attack, attack. Kill till ties. <laughs> Just go in, mash buttons in a certain order, and just get them. Just get them. Brute force. Brute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I died. That's not supposed to happen. I didn't hit the triangle button fast enough, so I died. It'll probably start right before the fight. There we go. Oh, it'll just start like two seconds ago. Aha. Alright. Oh no, he broke my sword. Oh. Got that. Oh. I keep hitting both of the freaking sticks. Is this gonna kill me? Oh no. She came in and saved my life. Good. Ah! I'm glad it doesn't punish me for hitting the R2 button too soon. Cause I like, I hit it, I swear I hit it like five times before I get it in the right circle. <laughs> It didn't mess that next one. Square, square, square. Oh god. Oh man. See, we're gonna win this fight, and then it's gonna pull some bullshit where it's like even more guards come in, and we were fucked all along anyway, no matter what we did. So. Oh, okay. So. I take back what I said about the wine clinking glasses because I think it was trying to teach us a button mashing uh, technique that we hadn't previously uh, used. Like, before everything was just a regular quick time event where that was more of a timed button hit. So maybe that's why that was just thrown in there. Maybe it wasn't as random as I was trying to make it out to be. So, good on you, Telltale. You fooled me for a second. Lost Legion won't stop until you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go nicer on this one. Oh, just because I'm trying to return home to my family, and I don't want some bullshit where like I return home to my family and they and the Lost Legion, Arya Stark, they're themselves back in the Westeros, and all of a sudden they're like, "Fuck you!" Oh, oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah, you forgot there was another bitch here, didn't you? Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Malcolm! Good thing I sent Malcolm to help. Oh, and that's where I pick up the uh, hatchet that I have in the uh, episode description. <laughs> or not description, like the picture. There's a picture for each episode. Why does she have two awesome swords? And I had like a sword that broke in five seconds. And I've had been having to use everybody else's sword since then. Take the money. Take the money. Fuck yeah. We're gonna need them dragons. And wait, also, are they dragons because of Daenerys, or were they dragons before? Is it nothing? <laughs> Fuck. I should have seen that coming. Malcolm, stop, Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing? What are you doing here? And he's dead now. I guess Malcolm doesn't know that because there's no way to send ravens from Westeros to Eastros. I mean, there are. I mean, I actually, I don't think there are. Because they're always talking about in the show about how they're, it's hard, yeah, well, or maybe it's not hard, but maybe it's like very, it's possible to send ravens, but it's hard to get messages because they're heavily tracked or something, or not tracked, but like, what's the word, censored, I don't know, I hope you get what I'm trying to say, like, I don't think people are supposed to send messages over there, and whoever's running the Red Keep at that time, probably, uh, or King's Landing, is, uh, you know, keeping watch on that type of shit, hopefully. I really like their little thing with the trees. 
I, I kind of I know that they probably used it for some other location of the Game of Thrones opening at some point because I know that Iron Wrath was never actually in the show. So hopefully they use it at some other point because there that's a cool little dynamic little boop, 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 the little holes popping out. Just it's a little details. If you can't tell by now in this episode, I'm incredibly tired and I'm rambling about anything that comes to the front of my brain and I'm using like a tenth of my brain space to actually <laughs> play the game. Am I still on Asher? Because I should probably figure out what I'm trying to do. Maybe Ash. I think Asher. Honestly, Asher will just become Ethan. That's the easiest way to do that. Asher will. Is this Gettard? Or is this a new person I'm playing as? Who the fuck are you? Asher will just become Ethan. He will just become Duty. But I think maybe less of a Tyrion level. Who else has got some Duty? Like a Rob Stark before Rob Stark died and married that girl level of stuff. Roderick. Oh, Roderick's still alive? What the fudge? Uh, he couldn't hear you. Okay, so no matter what I picked there, he probably couldn't have heard me. Why can I not see whatever the hell is next to me? How's it gonna be my dead brother? Am I the Lord now? And am I gonna have to fight my nephew Asher? Father? Oh, it's his father. Right. Oh, so he, he has even more claim to the throne because Roderick is the firstborn son, whereas um, Asher's the secondborn son. And they thought that Roderick died because of what I made, uh, what I made Getter tell them. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Not How much are you paying for You Oh dude. I feel like he ain't gonna make it. Like, he looks pretty fucked up. Why did I have to grab the board? Oh no! Come on, stumble out! Uh, come on, get out of there! Get out of there! Yeah! Yeah! I don't know if this is good or not. Also, I don't know what to do with the new character. So hopefully you don't become important. Or everybody's just gonna become the new Ethan. You're Ethan, he's Ethan, Mirror's Ethan. Duty for all of you. <laughs> Duty D-U-T-Y. Stop with that shit. They're cutting off my legs, aren't they? Or something. Oh, no. There's some medieval fucking doctoring going on there. Uh, I'm gonna be the new brand. I'm gonna turn into some kind of like sights here. I've got visions in my brain. Yeah. Uh, uh, just fucking drink the milk of the poppy. I've always really drink it. You, yeah, you should definitely. That's just like you should drink that. You should definitely not be looking at that shit. My lady, do not look at this shit. Very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him in. <laughs> Sir, my lady oh. must insist that you leave. No. I don't know. What have they done to me? Can you please tell me? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never uh, again. <laughs> Looks the pans down. He has no legs. Okay. Yeah, he's got about a 50-50 chance that he might never walk again. <laughs> 
I'm still getting back the science on that one. Me, me, my whole fucking the Hans guy from Frozen. I can't remember his name, but I just remember what he looks like. He's just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He might, I think there's hope for him yet. He could have traveled around on his limbs, or on his, on his, uh, all around on his. Oh no, he still has his legs. So it's totally like a a brand comparison. Great. So like the Forrester family is basically the Starks, but only sort of. Fuck, he broke that. It looked like it was made of like fucking metal. Oh. I mean, I think I really have to wait until. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. The hugger. Aww. I really want him to be like a nice guy. Aww. Because I I don't really know where they wanted him to go. Because I when it said Lost Lords, I really didn't think about like. I thought they were just talking about Asher. I didn't really didn't th and like lost as in like oh we lost Ethan and we're finding the lost Asher. Oh, brotherly sisterly love that could form to be incest. So I shouldn't push it too far. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> You'll walk again. Oh, he's getting down about dead. Ethan. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan demanded he let me go. Oh, I can't look at his face for too long. For things being so low poly in this game, that that face is just detailed enough. Ramsey will pay. Yeah, everybody's the new Ethan. There you go. That's the easiest way that I can describe these two characters. But, oh, but so what I was trying to say before is that I don't know where they're going with him yet because I didn't expect this guy to be here. So I don't know if they're trying to make him the new lord since he's the oldest. Then don't lie to me. Nobody will understand. Um. Yeah, so I didn't know that he was. Oh, so the White Hills have taken over, right? That's the case. It's been chaos here. But I mean, hey, now that. We have White Hills oh, soldiers geez. stationed in our courtyard. Even well, folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. Heck yeah, they will. Lead, but can I walk? <laughs> that's pr that's a pretty prevalent part of being a lord. I don't think that anybody would actually follow him if he couldn't walk. And that's not me trying to be prejudiced against the like handicapped people. That's just like the Game of Thrones universe and like what happened with Bran and like. I don't know. They make like they make fun of Tyrion for being an imp, and while he's like used years of like. They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready. This guy is the safest middle options I've seen the entire game. I just feel so safe just hitting X. Like, yep, we'll see. Yep, I'll give her a hug. Yep, 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 yep. I miss you. Oh, thank you. I'm just glad to be alive. I mean, he got up pretty nice. That's like half the battle. <sighs> we'll just FDR our, our way through all this. Immediately falls over on his first step. Oh, yep, there he goes. I mean, give it a little more time. Things need to heal. I don't know how long he's been under, but like... Yeah. So I want to see where Roderick's story takes him a little bit further. Um, and see where Asher's story is taking him. I, I, I think I said at the end of the first session that I don't understand why, like, people in Game of Thrones, like, can't put, like... Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse cart. Damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid... Hey, bitch, I just woke up. Give me a minute. Christ. I mean, I know you're trying to be inspirational, but Jesus Christ. 
Let the guy have some Excedrin or something. Take my hand. Oh, thank Let you, Talia. Whoa, why is it? Oh, his hand was so gross. I guess it was dirty. But it, it just looked like poorly rendered. Like she, she had a fucking like um, 720p hand and he had like a 360p hand. <laughs> like, see what I'm talking about? Like, his hand is made up of like so many more polys. Well, you know, even if Roderick dies, Asher's is still on the way. So I feel a little bit more safe knowing that there is a few options now to uh, to save the foresters. It's a good thing they had a lot of sons. And hopefully it won't get down to like, <laughs> Roderick is dead, Asher's dead. They just all turn to the uh, youngest son in the corner. You must lead our people now. And the youngest son's like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 12. I'm... And it turns into one of those like fucking Robin situations with the veil. Oh, now I'm gettered. Uh, well, so I think I'm going to cut off the episode here, because that's all the time that we have for today. So, uh, if you like this series, keep watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And even if you're subscribed, ring my bell for notifications. That's all for today's episode. Catch you next time. Bye.